All right, hold on. Oh. <clears throat> one second, child. Hold on, one second, one second, one second, one second, one second. Hold on, hold on. Let me get out of this. Okay. 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 <clears throat> Good morning. The saga continues. I'm awake now. I'm showing up. Wait a minute. I don't have to yell anymore. I forgot. I got a microphone now. I forgot. So I probably stopped yelling and just talk normal. Anyway. Y'all say give me a good morning, drink. So, in this developing story, well, let me just pull the phone out. <laughs> and I'll just read to y'all how I woke up to it. Um, Hold on, hold on, hold on. Damn, they opted not to take her. Uh, uh, wait, 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 it's wrong one, wrong message, wrong message, wrong message. Ah, this one. So apparently, what's been told to me from another one of my sources that's really close to her camp down there, that the reason why um, the coaches have opted to not select her is y'all. I look, y'all already know. I already know what I'm saying. I couldn't make this. I can't. I cannot. <laughs> Make up any of this shit that I be telling y'all, which y'all already know by now, because every time I say something, within probably about another couple of hours, it comes out from all the other. And by the way, y'all better make sure that, that the world know that Ray's Take has everything first, okay? Our show, yes, it's our show. Our show is the number one leading show for track and field. There, everybody else is imitators at this point in time. You want the real news, you want the real source, you want to know what's really going on and behind the doors, behind closed scenes, and all that track and field, you got to raise take, baby. You make sure they know that. Okay, now back to what's going on. So apparently, the coaches opted to not allow her to run because Dennis wanted her on anchor and they didn't want her on anchor. This is what it was told to me. Now, this is, hold on, I'm going to Okay. This is what it was told to me now. This is exactly what I got from a source that's that's damn, damn near, damn near, damn near right next to him, okay? My source told me that, Ray, the reason why she's not on the relay is because Dennis is saying if she's not running anchor, she's not running anything. So the other, for, so the team relay coaches are pretty much like, well, first of all, Jack, you got to be lucky she's running any damn thing, okay? And if she's going to run, she's running third. She's not running anchor. I don't know who they. I have not gotten the details yet of how they trying to structure this relay or whatever that would or who they want to put on anchor. Um, but anytime it comes to this Team USA track and field relay stuff, it, it's always a mess. I can tell y'all now, it, it's always a mess. Always a mess. Always a mess. So, according to my sources, what's going on right now is. The reason why they are opting not to let her run is because they want her to run third and Dennis don't want her to run third. Who they want to run anchor? I don't know. I could guesstimate. I really can't guesstimate because I don't know who the hell you would put at anchor. Who else would you put? Gabby? You put Gabby at anchor? I don't know, people. I don't know, but... That's just how I go when it comes to them USA track and field relays. It's more politics than it is in the White House. So, right now, according to my source, they are saying that um, the reason why she's not running on the relay is because the leg that they want her to run, Dennis don't want her to run. Dennis wants that anchor spot. He wants that glory leg. Honestly, I know y'all want my take on it, so here go my take on it. Honestly, honestly, if I was Dennis, see, it's tricky, y'all. It's so damn tricky because in order, in order for her to become an Olympian, she got to actually, you know, become an Olympian. Right now, she can't be an Olympian because of the 100, okay? If she's on the relay, she can be an Olympian. 
I would probably swallow my pride. I'd probably do the sacrifice. And I'd probably just let her run third if I was Dennis. I'd probably let her run third. Because at the end of the day, at least if you run third, you're still going to Tokyo. The people still get to see you because that's what the people want to see. The people want to see Shakira on the track. We don't give a damn where she at. <laughs> we just want to see her on the track. So, I think personally, my take is it's a tad bit selfish on Dennis's part. I get it. I get it. I get he wanted his girl on the glory leg, but right now your girl's in hot water. Getting her to Tokyo, period, should be the main thing. Like, damn it, if she got to go first leg, second leg, third leg, whatever, we got to get you to Tokyo. At least get that on your resume, you know. So for me, I'm saying, okay, well, whatever y'all want to do, we will do because we're actually just kind of grateful that we're even able still to run. <sighs> now, if it was Ray Edwards... As the coach. First of all, if Ray Edwards as the coach, we wouldn't be in this situation. But if Ray Edwards as the coach, Ray Edwards is saying, yes, you're running. This is part of the punishment. <laughs> this is part of the punishment. You're going to run in Tokyo, and you're going to run wherever the hell they want to put you at. And you better be dang on lucky that you're getting to run anything, okay? Regardless of the fact that they, they wrong on a lot of accords about this rule period and why you can't run, I'm with you on that. I am totally with you on that. But to balance this thing out to make right and might make right is right, wrong is wrong, fair is fair, whatever leg they give you, you gotta go run on it now. And in the meantime, we will continue to fight for you to get this ridiculous rule changed and get it off of your head. But for now, you gotta do what we gotta do, which means we need you out there, period, to have a strong relay, whatever leg you're going to be on. That's just my take. That's me. I say, hey, run anyway. Whatever leg they put you on, they put you on. I get where Dennis is coming from. He wants his girl to be the anchor leg, which rightfully she should be the anchor leg. I also get where the USA relay coaches are coming from because they like, well... We at least giving her a shot. We at least giving her a chance to run. I don't know, people, but y'all know as this story unfolds, I'm going to keep giving it to y'all. I'm going to keep letting y'all know. As, as I get the information, I'm going to keep letting y'all know how it's going. But it's, it's, it's every hour, if y'all ain't noticed by now, every, damn near every hour this shit is changing. Like this, this, It's changing almost every hour because there's so many people pushing and pulling from high power to low power. I mean, you got all type of celebrities talking about it. You know, and anytime you get the media behind you, Jack, one or two things is going to happen. Um, well, I can tell you what's going to happen. This rule is going to be changed thanks to Shakari. Shakari. It's going to be changed. Weed is going to be taken off of that you saw the list, so y'all finna be able to blaze up, Jack. That's coming off. Bitch about a dollar. Just stick it to me. I mean, stick to me. What I'm trying to say, stay tuned. That shit's coming down. First thing. Second thing is, this is just what my sources have told me now. This is just what my sources have told me now. My sources have told me that they using this case to push it all the way through to the Senate or whatnot to get the marijuana laws in America pretty much reduced, period. Now, this is just what they're telling me. Now, I can only report to y'all what they're telling me because right now, because it's going to cause so much of an uproar, people are more now like, what are you talking about? Like, okay, it's time to change the marijuana laws altogether. So what we could be looking at right now is a change in history sparked by track and field. Which is pretty cool. Which is pretty cool. This is what my sources are telling me. And my sources are also telling me that, you know, because she has dealt with mental illness and stuff like that, um, pushing more of mental illness awareness. So, 
I think at the end of all of this, it's going to be bigger things changed outside of track and field. But I guess track and field get a little piece of the publicity for it. I don't know. I don't know what you want to call it, but but yeah, as of right now, as of right now, it's actually bigger than track and field. It's bigger than her running, which is usually what happens when when things like this happen. When 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 the world gets an uproar, the change starts. So I don't know, y'all. I mean, at this point, it ain't even about track and field no more. At this point, it's about Mary Joanna, Mary Jane, or Mary JJ, or smoking the good good, or the happy grass, or the dank dank, or the like hot five on it. Personally, I don't think anything wrong with weed. I'm a personal trainer. I'm just gonna put it out there. You know what I mean? The benefits of this smoking marijuana. Look it up. I'm just gonna say. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Just saying. Which I don't understand. I'm, I'm kind of like Cat Williams. You mean tell me I can go and buy a whole bottle of Advil, and if I take 20 of these damn Advils, it's gonna be my last headache. But if I go spend this twenty dollars and get me a gram or two. My headache gonna go away. My stress level gonna come down. I'ma smile. I'ma eat. I'ma be happy. I'ma get some rest. I don't understand why the hell we don't. It's not mandatory to smoke weed. I think in, this is my show, damn it. I said I won't say on my show, but personally, I think the narrative need to be pushed that weed should damn near be mandatory. Weed should damn near be. I'ma say it first. You don't raise take dog on it. Weed damn near should be mandatory. For you to have to smoke. Cause just think about it. Just think about if you had to smoke weed. If you had to smoke it. If you ever smoked weed before, this is why I have my own show, because I can talk like this on my own show. If you ever smoked weed before, you know what I'm talking about. Not a single moment in time have I ever, in my existence of being beautiful and black on this planet. I'm not saying any other color is beautiful. I'm just saying I'm black and I see myself in the, in, in, in the camera. And I look pretty cute today. I look pretty good. <laughs> I like him and good. Uh, uh, anyway, since I've been walking around, I can date all the way back to my uncles. All the way back to when I was a little kid. I've, it's one thing I've never seen. Well, actually, two things I've never seen. I've seen a lot of stuff. One thing is I've never seen a monkey. Have sex with a football. And I've never seen anybody mad on marijuana. Not damn my life. I've never heard of anybody got high and went and shot up the club. I've never heard of anybody got high and went and did all this other stuff. And I know what y'all, I know what y'all um what y'all nerds are gonna do. You know, y'all gonna go to Go to the to, to, to the internet and go find that little one time. Like, well, this dude had a wreck and killed somebody and he was high. Well, he probably had the wreck and killed somebody because he wasn't just high off weed. Okay? But anyway, back to what I'm trying to say to y'all. I personally have never known anybody to be upset from smoking marijuana. Am I an advocate for marijuana? Yes, I am. And I can say that. You know why I can say that? Because A, I don't run anymore. B, I don't work for anybody. You see that thing behind me I'm about to pull up at? That's my gym. So guess what? I can say what I want to say on my show. And I, for one, am totally okay with people smoking marijuana. If you want to smoke a marijuana, you may smoke a your marijuana. But disclaimer, rules are rules. If your job says you cannot smoke marijuana, you cannot smoke marijuana. Period. Point blank. Okay? You do what you want to do on your off time. You do what you want to do in your own time. But if your job says you can't smoke marijuana and work here, then guess what? You can't smoke marijuana and work there. No matter how ridiculous or stupid that rule may be, you can't smoke marijuana and have a job. 
I'm gonna let y'all figure out what I'm pretty much saying without saying it. I see y'all in a couple hours, cause I'm pretty sure it's gonna be some more shit go down. Welcome to Ray's Take. Goodbye.